Chances are you've never seen an Aston Martin like this one. Only 645 of these very unique wedge-shaped four-door sedan called Aston Martin Lagondas were produced from 1978 to 1990. This particular 1982 Lagonda was purchased by a Kuwaiti billionaire and repainted in an eye-catching sea green pearlescent color. Approximately 30% of all Lagondas were bought by wealthy Middle Eastern sheiks and businessmen. The price of a Lagonda back then was about 50,000 pounds, so you'd pretty well need an oil well to afford one. The Lagonda debuted in 1976, but it didn't go into production until 1978, because it took Aston Martin that long to work out the bugs of its very futuristic instrument panel. So what did they do? They outsourced it to a company in Texas. These LED digital instruments, touch-sensitive switches, and electronic seats were state-of-the-art for the time. This is a very futuristic looking car on the outside and the inside, but what's really at work here, it's an Aston Martin. That means it has an aluminum body that's riveted onto a tubular steel chassis, a 5.3 liter V8 under the hood with four Weber carburetors. Of course, because it's a performance sedan, the power goes to the back wheels through a three-speed torque flight transmission made by Chrysler. That's right, a Chrysler transmission. It takes a lot of power and is very smooth. Between 1979 and 1990, there were three wedge-shaped Aston Martin Lagondas, but it really was the original Series 2, like the one we're driving in here, that really have the most appeal. The Aston Martin wedge-shaped design was a bold experiment for Aston Martin, one that they abandoned in the 90s for new, rounder models, but it never ceases to draw a crowd wherever it goes. Okay, well, the sea green paint might have something to do with it. Okay, well, Zach, that was uh, kind of a um, unique looking car. Unique as being nice, absolutely. Well, Lacey, the car that we're going to be looking at after the break is the new four-door Porsche Panamera. But this new Panamera is kind of different because it looks like nothing else on the road. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it, but you're going to have to check it out as we take it out on the track next on Driving Television.